Hello folks, this will be an upcoming project I'm working on. This will be the Carnage, well I should say Dark Carnage customization project. And what I will be doing here is going over my plans for this figure while doing the AAR for my previous project, the other Dark Carnage project I figured out that it would be best for me if I make plans ahead of time and I figure out exactly what I was going to do to that figure before I got started now doing a project of course there's going to be some minor adjustments or minor changes to my plans but I just wanted to get a, an overall plan for what I was going to do so what I'm going to do is go over this figure I actually wanted to do all my little fancy drawing and scribbling here while discussing this but I just made a mistake and so it's already drawn on here and I'm not going to redraw it so now on the left what we have is the dark I'm sorry we have the Omega spawn I think that's what it's called and you know what to be honest spawn looks a lot like venom and of course Cornish looks like Venom because he came from Venom but it's a lot of similarities so I won't have to make a whole lot of changes because they they look similar already okay so let's get into it let's start off with the base the base is gonna I'm not gonna make any changes to the base there's no need to do that I get tired sick and tired of seeing statues with the old gray colored base so this base will not be gray there may be a little bit of gray in it but overall it's going to be some other color it can be green brown might be pink but it won't be gray also i want to put some symbiote down here okay can i draw on it still yes i want to put some symbiote down here on the base just to connect the figure with the base bring them together now, most of the time we see symbiote is portrayed as black, and I've seen it a couple of times where it was red. Now, what I may do is make it a dark red just for change, make things a little different. Okay, let's work our way up. And right here on the leg, I believe this is part of his boot. That isn't okay now i actually have the 3d model in front of me and it is not that noticeable on the model so it may require some light sanding or maybe no sanding at all same here let's see and the spikes i have seen the dark carnage figure portrayed with some spikes maybe not as big or prominent as these so I will be leaving some of these spikes on here. And let's see what else. We'll work our way up. All right. Okay, now on my model I have in front of me, the spawn, or well, it's more visible over here. The white spawn symbol, it is not that visible. It may require some light sanding. In the straps, those may require some light sanding also. These spikes here on his chest, mm, I may get rid of those. I, once I get into the figure and see, uh, I'll have to make that decision at that time, but it's a possibility I'll get rid of those. And the chain. These chains here, these are not part of the 3D model I have, so that is not going to be an issue. Okay, down here on his arm, right there, part where it's more visible here, but there's part of the glove right here. I may have to do some light sanding to get rid of that. Let's see. Okay, and the cape, this cape is detachable. So that won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. <laughs> that, that won't be a problem. Hardly an inconvenience. I'll just 
Remove the cape and don't have to worry about it. Let's see. Okay, let's talk about the face here. I will be using some epoxy because as you can see here, this figure has some eyes. I will be using epoxy to cover over the eye cavities and make him some wider eyes. And of course they will be white. Now the mouth, I was considering widening his mouth, but at the risk of messing up his face, I'm gonna just leave it as it is and just go with it. Hopefully it'll look okay because normally Venom's mouth, not Venom, normally Cornage's mouth is wider than this, but I'll see how that turns out. And the horns will stay. I have seen Dark Cornage portrayed with horns, so I'm gonna leave the horns. I've always liked the idea of Cornish being portrayed with horns, not necessarily devil horns, but you know, with horns. Let me see, okay. And, I think, okay, now, he will have tendrils. I like to see Cornish with, with aggressive tendrils that are like coming at you, coming towards you. And so that's what these will be. And they will probably have like a spike or something, something on the tip of them. And I'm an asymmetrical type person. So I'm not going to do f the four tendrils. If I do four, they will not be symmetrical. They'll be like different odd places, like maybe one coming out from here and then one here and just different places. Let me see. All right, now I think that's it, folks. That's about all I'm going to be doing. Did I talk about color? Okay, in case I did not talk about color, I have seen dark cornish portrayed with red skin. I've seen him portrayed with dark red skin. I have also seen him portrayed with black skin. Now, I don't know when he had the black skin. I don't know if that was just for effect or if that was the true color the artist was using to, to show him but i'm not going to make him black if anything it'll be like a real dark red color but that's something to work out once i get started and let me see i think that's it i hope i didn't miss anything so that's it folks and i apologize for my presentation i'm still trying to master this what is this anyway some word program i'm trying to master that and so maybe i'll get better as time goes on but i just wanted to show the plans for this and mostly this is for me for me to use as a reference so if i get stuck doing a project i can come back to this and say okay yeah that's what i want to do okay that's it thanks for watching the video thanks for supporting my channel there's more good stuff coming so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the channel bye Hello everyone, this is the, what am I calling these videos? Hmm, let me see. I guess for now I'll call this my pre-planning video before I actually get started working on a project. The plan is to, oh, hold on, let me stop for a minute. Okay, get a good look at this figure with the head on because I have to remove it before it falls. I just have it propped up there with a toothpick right now. I hate for it to fall and have one of his horns break. So get you a good look. All right, I'm about to remove it. So this is the pre-planning video for this customization figure right here. It's presently a, I think it's called a dark spawn or devil spawn, something like that. It doesn't matter anyway, because once I'm done, this will be a dark carnage figure. So what I'm gonna do in this video is talk about my plans. And this is to prevent me from making some uh, big mistakes like I did with a previous figure. So I'm gonna make my plans and hopefully things won't go real bad with this one. Let's see. 
All right, you know what? Let's rotate him around, get a good look at this figure. I really like this. Okay, there you go. By the way, he was white. I think I made one video. Yes, I did. I made another video, but I don't know if that one will be uploaded before or after this one. But this figure was white, and I did paint him today. So what we're looking at here is paint slash primer. I really love that base. That's different. I can do so much with that. It's probably going to be mostly like grays and browns, but I can do some more stuff with that. I'm kind of hooked on this this uh, base. Not, that didn't come out right. I'm kind of hooked on this concept or idea of bases with like fire. I, I don't know why that's in my head. I did look at a few videos on YouTube and I just like the way it looks. So maybe I'll try to do that with this one. Have it like a kind of a hellscape type base and make a lot of, put a lot of reds and oranges in there. All right, so let's stop him again. Maybe I can put his head back on so it doesn't look so weird. No, I'm not, because if it falls, I'm gonna be highly upset. All right, so these are these are the plans. And I'm going to do this quickly because I don't want this to be long. The plan is to... I want to get close. You can see right here, there's part of his boot. Now, with the boots and gloves and also with these uh, shoulder straps here, if I can conceal these with epoxy, that's the plan to do that. This one here also, as you can see, top of the boot. My other option would be to sand it down. And looking at this figure, it would be kind of hard to... Hold on, focus now. It would be kind of hard to do that with the spikes everywhere. So I don't know if that's even an option with this one. Probably going to be the epoxy, or if it comes right down to it, I'll just have to leave leave this in the, the gloves, leave those here and work around them. Maybe try to conceal them with some some uh, symbiote, you know, the black symbiote that runs all over his body. Maybe conceal it with that or I don't know. So. All right. And that is the whole purpose of this video. So I can work this all out in my head before I get started on it. And let me see what else these here. I I may get rid of those or maybe I won't. Okay, if you're familiar with the dark carnage figure, you know that he has a few spikes on his body, and depending on who draws him. So I could probably get away with leaving these. I don't know. I'll, I'll consider that. Now, these straps, I would definitely have to use epoxy because they just stand out too much. I'm going to put some epoxy up in here and some up here to conceal all of that and the you can see the spawn emblem on his chest area here i might be able to get away with leaving that because let me see i believe the dark carnage figure he does yes he does have the the venom spider or is it the absolute or is it the null spider i don't know which one it is but he does have the spider so maybe i can use that and make that into the spider we'll see let me see what else all right i had some other stuff in mind i'll probably make another short video and splice it into this one because i had some other stuff and i I had it written down, but now I can't find my notes, so I'm kind of lost. All right, let's take a good look at the back. Like I said, this is presently a spawn figure, and it has like a big furry cape that attaches here. I will be putting epoxy in this hole uh, to save on my expensive epoxy. 
I'll probably use some clay in here and then cover it with epoxy. So this will be the last time we see this spawn figure as it is now. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. If you're interested in this project, please stay tuned, subscribe. There's plenty more coming. Thank you. Bye. Oh, one of the big things I wanted to talk about, and I'm excited about this. Boy, I just... Okay, check it out. You know what that is? These are magnets. If you ever watch the Flintstones, you know why I say it that way. But these are rare earth magnets. Also, I have these ceramic magnets. I will be using these extensively on this project here. And I'm excited about that. And the reason I will be able to use those magnets, magnets extensively is because of the openings where the body parts connect. I haven't worked on any figures recently since I've had the magnets that is that had the wide openings that would allow me to use these magnets because some of them are pretty sizable. I'll be able to get the magnets in there with no problem because they are these especially these are kind of small. Those come in different sizes but I'll be able to use those too especially like on the base and probably on the torso where this this comes apart but it's sticking now because of the paint but this does come apart i'll be able to use it on the arms and maybe the neck too so i'm excited about that and you know what i may even make some because he's gonna have some tendrils i may even make like uh several tendrils coming from his back and just have them all go into one area right here and just put a magnet right here and that will take care of the tendrils okay i'm getting excited about this one the more i talk about it okay folks that's it this time i'm going for real uh thank you bye